With Star Citizen Patch 318.2, the Xeno Threat event returned to the live servers. Whilst this hasn't been without problems, this event is my personal favourite, so I absolutely had to answer the call and stand with the CDF. But since my server was struggling to rearm the usual Ares Inferno, this mission forced a different choice. And given that Xeno Threat are an in-game organisation who are staunchly anti-alien, it seemed only fitting to choose an alien craft to take the fight to these renegades. I'm Farrister, and this short video will showcase a real-time perspective of part of the Xenothreat mission fought from the perspective of an Asperia Glaive. For those Xenothreat fans out there, don't worry, I do plan to make a longer form gameplay video once I get a more stable server for it, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And of course the opening gambit here is strafing this Idris with the large guns of the Glaive. Obviously, we should be attacking the fighter sized craft, so we'll move on to those. The Glaive is quite an interesting and fun choice for this sort of a mission, because it has a small, fast firing armament, but also some heavier armaments that fire powerful bursts which feel very effective. In this case, trying to engage this Mantis with a mix of those fast firing, humorously named weak cannons, and then the slower firing, stronger Roth Cannons. It is worth adding that this is just one phase of the Xenothreat fight, the phase where an Idris comes to attack the docked Javelin. This server has been having significant challenges, let's say, uh, which is why I end up in this ship in the first place, so um, if you do see some latency and weird effects of things taking a while to be destroyed and things like that, it's down to the server performance. And these sort of engagements with the Glaive are what makes it feel so satisfying to run. Just being a little bit more cautious when pulling the trigger, making quite deliberate moves, feels very very satisfying when you land those shots and destroy a ship. destroy that small fighter and then move on. Something very satisfying about just placing those shots and seeing them have a big damage impact on the ship you're firing at. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I'm sure many of you are aware, but the Xenothreat event gives quite decent payouts for a couple of reasons for combat ships. The first is a payment indicator which ramps up and ramps up and ramps up and then gives everybody a good boost of around 5000 Alpha UEC. Then also you can take a call to arms mission and for every one of these ships that you personally destroy, you get paid a cool 500 Alpha UEC or so. So, for a ship like the Glaive that does big damage on smaller craft, that can be a very profitable way of doing things. The unresponsive missile performance there kind of shows some of the challenges that this particular server is facing. As Rowena Dully says, it's all, it's all gone to pot, it's all fallen apart, sadly, we failed. And by and large, I think in this server it's because the server performance is not there. I think to be fair, the CDF team here have been fairly responsive, and a good job of trying to address some of these threats. These head-on engagements are fantastic for the Glaive. There's a lot of damage in those head-on head on passes. Just destroy two little fighters because they went head on. Ignore that because that's a player. Get some shots on the Idris that's presumably going to despawn at any moment.
I don't know. I know that this event has been um, problematic for performance, but I still really enjoy it. There's something about, you know, even just the different roles you can play, whether it's attacking the enemy fighters or the larger ships like the Idris and Hammerheads, you, especially as you get to the late stages, defending allies, or even if you're running cargo and helping with the cargo side of things. I just I really enjoy that kind of PvE element of players working together to do something. That's my kind of event. You don't see me at Jump Town often. You don't even see me at Siege of Orison often, but as in a threat event, I show up pretty much every time. So at this point, it is seeming like the event is um, has stalled. Yeah. Looks like it's stalled, failed, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's time on this mission. But thank you very much for joining for this short outing in the Speria Glaive. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching.